Hello guys, welcome back everybody to the brand new Honest Reaction video. Today's video is Patreon requested, it's for GU Num. Thank you so 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 much for sponsoring it. So today we're going to be checking out Pose by Luna and this one, as far as I remember, this was actually the song that they made for the final. Like, it's not from the album, it's not a modified song from the album, like, um put it straight for example you know the darker version of put it straight by idol that's just the one example i can think of um right and, and they just specifically made it for the final of queendom so let's begin with it now before we actually jump in though guys make sure to check out my patreon where you can request a song or a video like this and also check out more than 500 exclusive reaction videos to bts twice red velvet dreamcatcher iu blackpink live stages by these and many many other groups there's uh, some luna live stages and also the live stage for this one from queendom is going to be on patreon i, I can't post it here and then of course k-drama reactions like my mr hotel de luna it's okay to not be okay scarlet hunt et1 class squid game the producers and goblin so all of that is on my patreon the link is down below now let's begin yeah pose And and you to you Nam, you told me that this one is pretty different from their usual style, and I think I'm already kind of hearing that. So yeah, let's continue. Wow, this, I I think it's four and shifted a little bit, right? It just sounds a little unnatural. Anyways. Ooh. Oh, this was cool. So I like the melody after We're gonna, we're gonna, I think she's saying Right here Yeah, yeah, it's definitely four minutes shifted just a tiny bit Yeah, that's for sure. It's very unusual to hear something like this from Luna. I, I'd never tell. Even when it comes to their voices, you know, I can't really recognize them that well. Maybe the fact that I'm still relatively new to them kind of plays a role, but I think it was Kim Lip who was singing right here. We're gonna, we're gonna, that part. Uh, but yeah, it's just very bassy. It's like it's mostly centered around the beat the beat and the instrumental is the driving force of the song, right? And it's kind of aggressive like this. With those like very prominent 808s. Kind of hyper poppy. Okay. Hear this bit again. Oh, I really like this transition into the pre chorus. 
on a high tension un and that un just how the melody goes very very seamlessly so Really excited to see the live performance for it. Yeah, yeah, this is something very, very new. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I've never heard anything like this before by Luna. Oh, that's nice. I like this harmony. Kind of, kind of eerie, a little eerie sounding. Right, <laughs> this has been the most played one, right? The harmony makes sense. Okay, <laughs> now let's get to the lyrics, then I'll make my final conclusion about it as just a separate song, you know, without seeing the performance. And then I'll check out the performance on Patreon. So yeah, let's get to the lyrics. Okay, here we go. By Random K. Oh, it was Heejin. I kind of thought that. Yeah, I kind of thought that it was her because, you know, of the really deep voice. Mmm. Man, she's got such a fitting voice for rapping, seriously. <laughs> Walking on, walking on, okay. Let's 
So this one was definitely a very interesting experience. Like the fact that it's by Luna and the fact that it's so unusual to hear something like this from them makes it better, makes it more exciting, surprising, unpredictable. So in this sense, um, so so I like this element of the listening experience. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, it was my phone. Don't do that. Um, now, if I let go of that, right? I've heard it already a couple of times and now I'm familiar with what I'm about to hear. I don't really, for my musical taste, I don't really see myself listening to it in the future, even though it's it's bassy and you probably know I like, I tend to lean toward bassier and more filled out instrumentals. This one just sounds kind of um, maybe a little too repetitive in the instrumental department. The vocals are pretty cool. I liked some moments specifically, like the melodies there were cool. Um, overall, I like the production and how sometimes it's it's got you know a more natural sound. Sometimes it's kind of electronic and robotic that they were doing for the ad libs. Like to to I'm, I'm doing this because it's it sounded like it was to the side of me, like on the right. So um, I feel like I liked. In, in this one, I like the vocal element more, but not in the sense that, hey, g great vocal flex, you know, it, it's a vocally oriented song. Just, you know, the melodies that they were singing sounded a little more exciting. It, it, still, you know, together with the instrumental, it's a, it's a pretty interesting song to listen to, but I just don't see myself listening to it on an everyday basis. If I hear it somewhere, I'll probably like, oh, oh, it's this one. Yeah, okay, here we go. Let's, I don't know, try to somehow move to it, I guess. <laughs> it's not very groovy, right? It doesn't have a consistent rhythm, so you can't dance to it in a, in a like a, a, a groovy way. You gotta come up with something. So, so something like this. Yeah, overall, enjoy the experience. This is for sure. Like the first experience, it was positive. Uh, don't think I'm going to continue listening to it in the future, something like that. I still think it's a more performance oriented song and again about the performance i'm still about to see it so so yeah something like that for this one i guess thank you all so much for watching thank you gnom for sponsoring it and catch you guys in the next video as always take care keep listening to great music and love